Welcome back. Tonight, a group of neighbors in Florence are protesting a pipeline that is headed straight for some of their backyards. Fox 7 Austin's Williamson County reporter Lauren Rangel spoke with residents about their concerns. She joins us now live in the newsroom. Lauren. Yeah, John, these residents have been fighting the pipeline for a while now, but they say the clock is ticking. Dirt could start turning in just a few months. Off a quiet county road in Florence, Jean Terrio knows some progress is necessary. We're all, I would say, civically minded. I mean, we don't mind any utility that benefits a community as a whole. But this is a different story. A lot of people in this area are confused. About a year and a half ago, Terrio and some of his neighbors, including David Koenig, got the notice that their land had been condemned for a natural gas pipeline. It's called the Matterhorn Express Pipeline, and it runs from West Texas to an area just outside of Houston and crosses through Williamson County to get there. My rub is I tried to get them to move it to the edge of my property. They didn't. They wouldn't move it. They wouldn't change it. It cuts us right in the center. The 42 inch steel pipe brings concern about land value and safety. Now we've got an easement of a company that can send people on our property anytime they want. If something was to ignite the gas, it's very possible my wife, myself, my dogs, and two cats would be vaporized while we sleep. I want to show you just how close this pipeline is going to be next to Gene's home. So this is where he lives, right over here. And then the pipeline is going to go straight up through here. That's about 350 feet away from where he lives. The, the biggest thing isn't the land. It's definitely not the money. It's the fact that a for-profit company was given condemnation rights to blanketly cross our property. Terrio and Koenig are now taking the company to court, asking for them to find another way to get the pipeline to Houston. Our legislatures and our representatives and the people that we depend on to protect us from this type of stuff happening will take into account that there's people out here who work their whole lives to buy something that to call their own and they randomly give it to a, to a for-profit company. About two years ago, a similar situation happened in Circleville, Texas. We heard from Matterhorn Express. Then a spokesperson told us the safety of the communities, people, and the environment is at the heart of our project. We are committed to being good neighbors and incorporating feedback from all relevant stakeholders into both the proposed route and the project's overall design. I reached out again for this updated story and have yet to hear back. In the newsroom, Lauren Rangel, Fox 7 Austin. News.